Hi friends, welcome to the ninth video of Pharmacovigilance series. In the previous video, we discussed signal management process. In this video, we will talk with Amrita on risk management process. So Amrita, what is risk management process all about in Pharmacovigilance? Risk management process in Pharmacovigilance is a continuous process. Mm -hmm. This process works on minimizing the risks associated with a medicinal product throughout its life cycle. Okay. Effective management of risk helps in ensuring that benefits of a particular medicine exceeds the risk related to that medicine. And to achieve this objective, certain activities and interventions are utilized in risk management process. Okay. So what all activities are included in risk management process? Risk management process is a set of activities which mainly includes risk identification, risk assessment and risk minimization and prevention. Okay. Thus risk management system includes assessment of risks associated with a medicine mm -hmm. and minimization of that assessed risk through defined activities and interventions. Okay. So looks like uh, this would be a set of many interrelated activities. Yes. And hence a lot of planning and coordination uh, would be required in the process. Correct. This whole process of risk management needs a specific plan to execute the activities and interventions and that is called risk management plan. Okay. So what is the risk management plan and what does it consist of? Risk management plan is a detailed document which describes risk management process. Okay. The basic components of risk management plan are first one is safety specifications which includes synopsis of safety profile of medicinal product. Okay. Now these safety specifications make the base for pharmacovigilance activities and risk minimization activities. Okay. Second one is pharmacovigilance activities. These activities aim at characterizing risk, identifying new risk and increasing the knowledge about safety profile of the medicine. Okay. These activities may include active surveillance, further clinical studies, drug utilization studies and so on. Mm -hmm. Third one is risk minimization activities. These activities concern with planning and implementation of different activities in order to minimize the risk. Okay. They also evaluate the assessment of effectiveness of these activities. Okay. These activities include offering information and education to healthcare professionals, mm -hmm. training programs, restricted use of medicines okay. and so on. Okay, one last question. How does it help in meeting the objectives of pharmacovigilance? Risk management process enables proactive line of action to recognize and understand better the hazards associated with a medicinal product. This in a way is also the objective of pharmacovigilance. Okay, got it. Thank you, Amrita. Thank you. Friends, this brings us to the end of ninth video of Pharmacovigilance series. In our next video, we will discuss the topic of labeling. Thanks for watching.